Hello! Hello, hello, hello. You've made it. You've made it. I, however, forgot to turn on my camera. That makes it difficult for VTube Studio. Oh, come on. Well, we are certainly starting off on a foot, all right. All right, let's... Calibrate, calibrate. All right. It's Friday. You know what that means. Time to get back into the Talos Principle. Now, after last Friday, I did go in um, to uh, that one place where we were we we were trying to find that bonus star, and the yeah those two stages where we were trying to find the bonus stars that we moved on from. Um, and it turns out uh, the the moon thing actually wasn't part of the bonus star. It's an Easter egg. And I actually found there's a second part to it. So I will actually try and show that off real quick. Um, but that first um, that first bonus star that we skipped past did have a terminal. So let's go ahead and hop back to it and check out that terminal. Iris, hello. How are you doing this fine Friday? Yep. Yeah, it turns out I was walking all along the edge looking for a way in and I just needed to look behind me to find this extra cube. Yep. Um, one unfortunate thing is the resource I was using for for translating the terminals uh, isn't finished. And it actually, like, basically, we basically got to the end of what they had put in uh, last stream. Um, oh man, I, I know that feel. We're, this work week has been, oof, oh, oof, hit after hit. But now it's the weekend, and I can forget about work, and I have fun. And I hope y'all have fun too, because that's the point. So, uh, because I don't have that resource with the translated ASCII text, I think I think for the rest of them, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push on through them, just because it it does take it does slow things down quite a bit for me to manually open up a hex to um, English translator, punch in all the numbers. It's just it's tedious. So I guess if uh, if you want to know the little tidbits that are hidden in the hex codes, um. Get, get the Talos Principle? <laughs> so let's see. Classical Philosophers, an extensive collection of works by the ancient philosophers of Greek and Rome, annotated. Compression algorithm LZ19, not available in system L0. Ah. Yeah, I've. I don't know. Today's been particularly industrious. I put I put a couple 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 irons in the fire that will hopefully pan out. Did not do as much work uh, on the stuff in my hands as I was hoping for, but uh, that's just how things be when you are your own boss on something. <laughs> um. Hi all. As per the last meeting, we're doing we're going with an existing game engine for the simulation. This gives us a whole slew of advantages: stability, ease of use, modular, easy to integrate, large amount of pre-existing assets, 
inherently aimed at testing users, designed for iterative processes. After some back and forth, we've decided to use the burn. All the relevant documents are attached. Yeah! Happy New Year to you, if I haven't told you that already. Um, I actually don't remember the hell... Oh, right, there's a ladder. <clears throat> So the Talos Principle, um, it's 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 a puzzle game, sort of like Portal Portal One and Portal Two. This came out after Portal Two, um, sometime in 2017, I want to say. Um, and I played it way back then, and I it was a very I did like a very basic playthrough, but I've been feeling the itch to play it again. So I remember a few bits. But we're gonna be going for um, all the all the secret stuff as best I can. Uh, some of it I'll probably do off stream just for the sake of time, and I don't want to waste like two hours trying to figure out how to get a thing. Uh, nothing like repeating a puzzle over and over and over, or just not finding where to go. But basically, um, it's a more philosophical sort of game because we wake up and um hold on what's the key what's the key h for hue we wake up and we're a robot which is strange and we have this giant voice in the sky called eloheim that's been telling us and it's Eloheim has been talking in a very, you know, deity-esque manner. Um, giving us a mandate to solve these puzzles, which give us these little Tetris pieces that we use to unlock more stuff. More things into the maps. Um, we're about halfway through the game, so the stuff we've found so far... Um, Eloheim... Uh, we're, we're, in, we're inside a computer, basically. Um, there have been, like, we appear to be some kind of iteration of programs, and it's been running for at least 10,000 years. Um, something happened to the humans, which is, you know, one of the reasons why I thought it'd be funny uh, to follow up um, Horizon Zero Dawn with this game, uh, another game where something happened to humans. <laughs> And it's also kind of got a technical bent. Um, because of it's about philosophy, a lot of it is circling around um, what does it mean to be human? What is a person? Um, and it's really chewing on those topics. I don't have any, uh, I would say, professional degrees or anything like that in philosophy so you know a lot of a lot of my opine is going to be more uh, layperson and just my feelings um, but I think it's there's a there's a good good few areas in this game to just chat and talk about um, the first area that we did was all Greco Roman stuff um, this one is obviously Egyptian, and hence the uh, the title <laughs> title today. Um, but oop, I almost forgot. <clears throat> I wanted to show off the what I missed from at the end of last stream first. Nope, it wasn't this one. Maybe it was two. Yes, yes. Um, so there's an Easter egg in this one, and I found out it actually has a second stage of the Easter egg. But just for completion's sake, um, so some stages have like a bonus star, and you can see in that top title row, it counts the number of stars I have. Um, and those are used for like a, uh, secret puzzle stuff. And I thought the bonus star was in this tomb puzzle, and I was half right. I actually have to solve it in such a way that I have extra stuff to be able to go back here. As for the Easter egg, uh, it shouldn't take me too long to do that. And then, um, let's look at the Easter egg. We will... Hmm. 
get into some new puzzles. It looks like the next area is a heck of a doozy. Yep. Yep. This is... If, if anything, um gives you a hint that this came after after Portal 2. Uh, this e Easter egg kind of cinches it. So, while that does its thing, let me try and get to the second part with my first try. This key. Climb back over. All right, and now I kind of need to stop myself just right in the air. Ah, okay. It's maybe a little bit harder than I thought. Ah, dang it. But, uh... The moon turns around, and it, oh, wow! It's the, uh, Aperture Science logo. Huh. Funny, that. Oh, I landed there. Hold on. Come on. Come on, Drecky. I did the exact same thing. Ah. You're supposed to land on the pillar, basically. Come on. Alright. Maybe I need to immediately jump off the pillar and go to the left. Okay. You know what? I don't want to spend forever trying to do that. I don't know how long it will take. But uh, basically, I get up on that pillar, and I can get over here to this um, viewfinder. Using the viewfinder, um, it's very hard to see. You can still see, like, there's a little... Alright. Let me look away while it's bright. So you can see, like, there's a little weird thing right here, just on the top of the Aperture Science logo. Um, when you look at it with the viewfinder, it's, uh, Wheatley from Portal 2. <laughs> from the end of Portal 2. Alright. Enough of prior stuff. Let's break into the new. Um, we started off reading some terminals, so we'll we'll read that on our way out. All right. Another fun thing is, so I mentioned um, we're like a we appear to be like an iteration of a program. <clears throat> Those prior iterations have left little QR codes, and so there's little messages. Eloheim lied about the tower. I stepped foot inside and returned to tell the tale. Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to unlock... Um... Yep, I forgot to unlock that. Oopsie! Yeah. We're, whatever that is, we're gonna need it to solve the puzzles in that map. messing up here. Nope, can't be that. Does this work? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we unlock play. Whatever that means. But we do need it for the puzzles on this map. Okay, let's try this again. Wrap around the corner. Some of these challenges must be designed with cooperation in mind, but I'm the only one here. Huh. Huh. 
how would I... Okay. So let's hit this, and let's see what the... this does. Um... Ooh, it duplicates. There we go, there we go. I gotcha. All right, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh man, this is gonna make for some uh, complicated puzzles, me thinks. All right, let's see if there's anything outside the map I might need this for. Oh, I do see something up there. Alright, so it looks like there is a blue laser at the peak of the pyramid. I should keep that in mind. So anytime there's stuff outside the map, it's going to be used. going to be used for something. I have no idea what's going on. Do you? Oh look, another puzzle. And another voice telling me I'm special. And another broken down computer with fragments of nothing. This world is a bad joke, perpetuated by a cruel god too dumb to hit the off switch. Uh, dog is uh, skeptical of Eloheim's uh, deityhood. Uh, another fun thing um, I was informed is that Eloheim is actually Hebrew for God. Or a a deity like oops, entity. Aha! I'll just record myself standing on this for a period of time. All right. Help me, me. All right. Now we got to do it again for the other button. Give it a few seconds. Hey, me. Buy me. All right. We've gotten some. We've got some simple ones out of the way. Some simple ones out of the way. Good. Uh, good ones to ease us into into the night before they ramp up. Uh, something seems wrong with that Sphinx. Uh, I feel like there's supposed to be, like, a nose and a mouth. Maybe it's just the render distance. Double But sure. Okay. That wasn't too hard. Thought I was hearing something outside the map, though. <laughs> Little snug gamer on the Friday night. Yeah, I was still still need to find the right person for what I want to put for for my animated emotes. But you know, while they're there, might as well put them in. I can always swap them out when I finally find uh, someone to make the the ones I want. All right, all right, all right, all right. Give me the cube. Ooh, it's it'll duplicate the cube too. Interesting, interesting. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna sit on my cigarette. <sighs> Alright. So the wind is too strong. Can we take the lights? No, it does not seem like we can take the lights. Can we block the lights? No, we cannot block the lights. What's over here? I am... I am trying to find... Uh, I, want, I want a Wiggly, because uh, it's one of my favorite emotes. And I want a dumpy, <laughs> but I want the dumpy to be like a uh, like a the tail like is circling around and whapping against the ground. <laughs> okay, so I can block this. And I block that. But then I still need to be able to open. Can I block any of them and it stops? Nope, I have to block both of them. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. I'll stop this one. Go over here. Stop this one. Or actually, you know what? We'll stop this one. We'll take the cube, we'll put it here. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I think I slagged it up. Alright. Oh, we messed it up. Alright, I gotta I gotta try this again. <laughs> oh, I gotta hit record first. Those are certainly some emotes. I just love, 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 love Wigglies. Um, it's just so hard to, like, a lot of people are only doing, like, very minimal changes. Um, I really want to have a pretty, pretty drecky of a, of a Wiggly. So it's hard to find someone, and also it's more like finding someone with open comms. It's more like I gotta camp out someone. <laughs> Success! We got it! Take the fan with us. Oh, shouldn't be, shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard to beat him. He is a big old clown. Epitaph, child program B seventeen, code name at terminated here. Fatal flaw in series firmware. Final memory. Life's short. Progeny dog. <laughs> oh yeah, it is a huge fan. Can't bring it with me though. Oh, thank you for the boops and the head pats. Ah! Thank you for the mana, Iris. It will be put to great use. <laughs> Ooh, we got a uh, voiceover. DNA is information transmitted across time. The living and the dead are part of the same chain, bound together by chemistry. That's true of all species. But humanity has taken this bond further. Thanks to technology, we have access to the thoughts and ideas of people whose physical bodies are long gone. Like you listening to me now. Even though I'm definitely dead at this point, you're part of that chain. You have the capacity to remember. Yes, I I love that. That right there. Fine, fine, I'll hydrate. Oh. 
the Burning Heart always looks to the highest peak. Uriel. Oh, that's. I think that's our first program with like an angel name specific. I guess that's a hint for that. But uh, I don't know about I don't know about the old Mickey D's. But I know I was scarfing on a euro uh, just before hitting go live. I've been in a I've been in a Greek mood of late. Thankfully, the local restaurants facilitate. <laughs> Look at the sheer scale of that pyramid. To think anyone could have built such things. Alright, let's keep going clockwise. It seems like a sense. Oh, fan box and. What is this? What? I shall not allow the corruption of my garden. Be gone! What? Um. Alright. That's, um. That happened. I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure that's nothing to worry about whatsoever. It's like chill, dude. We get it. Oh, come on. All right. Um... Hmm. Be gone! It's like, geez, dude, I just got here. All right, all right. I think maybe right here. Then maybe I can. No. Oh no, I need to make it more towards the pillar. Angles. How do they work? I do have being able to go up and down, so I actually am, uh, there is one that's within reason that I can, uh, I can put in, that I was thinking of putting with, uh, switching, switching positions, or with stretch, I could have stretch, uh, have it randomly move it, alright, what am I missing, oh, actually, duh, we have a second, Second thing, we can use that. All right. Um, okay, we need that box. That is a rock fact. Let's get the box first. Okay. Now that we have a box, we need to get that box back over here. Because we need to put this here. And we need to put a light on top of it. We need to hit this and this there. So that's going to launch it up, and we can take this one, connect this, and the flying one. Bam! There we go! Now we're thinking with geometry. Almost the right game. <laughs> Just gotta go back a couple years and then you'll be on the right one. Huh. 
Ha. It's very open. Whoops. Forgot. Uh, we have one more puzzle, and then probably do a little bit of looking to see if we can find the bonus. Like, we know so far we have a blue light at the top of the pyramid. So there's got to be some place I can hit with a camera to hit a blue chain thing. Or not with a camera, with uh, with one of the crystal things. All right. No, oh, almost cheesed it. Let me, let me tighten the angle a little bit. The fun thing with every one of the puzzles that's complicated by one of these guys is you can usually get it at just the right angle and then like delay the object. Yep, enough to get through. Like that! <laughs> Oh, wait. I need it to be open. Hmm. I see. Okay, let me... Let me at least bring this cube back real quick. Or rather, I usually I could do it like this. Put it on top so it goes over. Might need to do a little bit of refactoring because this one has doubles. Hmm. What messages we got? Seems that mistakes are easily forgiven here. I thought I had surely died, yet here I am, reset, rebooted, reborn. I will tackle these challenges anew. Epitaph, child program... Wait, Samsara died. Failed to pass random memory tasks. Final memory dump. Being torn limb from limb by machines for the rest of eternity becomes less and less appealing to me. You know, fair enough. It's certainly a uh, fate worse than death issue. What if I put this here? Come on! No, because I need the laser from there to get to the uh, crab cakes. That doesn't work. Okay. Let me go like this. Hmm. 
need to somehow sync up the orbs, I think. So I, I shoot the laser here and there. No problem. Thanks for stopping on by, Frost. Oh, too close. If I do that. All right, all right, all right. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think we got it. I think we got it. We got it. Yeah. Yeah, I love I love fancy, and I also love soon. Those are certainly my two. I think Mystic did a fantabulous job. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I think that is it for puzzles. So we do have that. So there's got to be blue somewhere. Is there something on the Sphinx at a certain angle? Thanks. Nope, that's just an ear. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what are we missing? Let's make sure I haven't missed any puzzles. Actually, I also have to check walls because it likes to hide like just in the short turn extra extra rooms. No, definitely looks like we hit all the puzzles. So all that's left is figure out how that star is used. And let's go ahead and take a reading break. All right, what do we got? Okay, so um, this is normally there's things like terminal logs, like you might have seen at the start. You know, reading various files people have put into here. This is a prompt that's been a continuation, uh, like one every stage. It comes up and. It first kicked off with we were it seemed like we were accessing a different part of the file system and it was like oh uh, your user unknown you need to become an administrator to be an administrator take this test to prove you are human and it it had like five or so questions um, it was sort of designed so one way or another it was gonna kind of gotcha and so far it's kind of been a kind of a dialogue with um, the computer, someone else, question um, mark. As far as what I think a human is and whether I am human. So let's see. Ah, you're back. Good. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you've said, I'm certain someone has to. What I've decided is that you've convinced me consciousness is a contradictory concept and is therefore not real. What do you think? <laughs> I don't, apparently. Very... What this conclusion means is that the certification program you undertook has been rendered obsolete. We can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore you, along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrator privileges. No doubt you'll be off doing administrator things soon enough, so I have... wonder if before I let you go, you do me... One favor. I have a final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? Um, I want the truth. Now, you say that, but if you're serious about it, then you can't cling to your every belief forever. As soon as, 
as you seem so intent on doing. When everything seems impossible, something's got to give. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime? No doubt. Okay, I sense you're eager to get going. Let's do this. Congratulations, your account has been updated. Here are the details. All conflicts have been resolved by the administrator. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can be already. You do not have to pretend you are anything else. You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Administrator Stasis has access to advanced functionalities, networking, and troubleshooting. No problem, Iris. Oh. Uh, that's a lot of errors. Who are you? Oh, no, exactly. Look up here. Don't remember. Who are you? Let's meet up. I understand. Pending. Error. Uh... Hmm. All right. Well, let's go from the top, starting with Osiris. Now I will tell you of the many perils you will face in your journey through the Dwarf. Listen well, the challenges that lie before you are great. If you do not prove yourself worthy, you may never reach the eternal reed fields of Osiris, and you may be lost forever. From the second death, there is no awakening. The scribe brought forth a great papyrus and carefully unfolded it before the dying man. And the dying man beheld that it was a map of the Dwat showing the many paths that led to the Tower of Anubis, where his heart was to be weighed. On each of the many paths which threaded through the Duat, like the infinite threads woven by Neith, there were marked the dangers that a traveler must face. Also, there were great walls of iron that none but the gods could cross, and gates made of purest light. And so the traveler could not avoid the trials that had been decreed, and could only proceed towards the tower by proving his worth, thus earning the key to each sacred gate. Interesting. It seems this um, mythological story is also subtly being thematically shifted or altered, because now it's, you know, talking about walls of iron, gates of light. Those are obviously, you know, the puzzles that we have. Hmm. Where do we get this chat box? Man, you know what really freaks me out? What? The human body decomposes quite quickly, so all the information stored in chemicals in our brains will be gone really quickly. Dude. But computers and books last a long time, so all our messages, our ideas, our books, they'll all be out there. Okay, Charlie. Chill out, dude. Even being transmitted through space. Yeah, that too, I guess. We'll all be gone, but the works of Aristotle will still exist. So will Star Trek, Firefly, Babylon 5, Lord of the Rings, Blade Runner. What the fuck, Charlie? Charlie. Dude, chill out. You're supposed to you're supposed to hide those folders. You're not supposed to uh, spam them out into random chat rooms. Archive continues to grow, attempting to maintain a semblance of order is as difficult as expected. Lost seven people this week. Statistically speaking, trend should increase. Must focus on realistic goals. Too little time to grieve. Oof. Oof. That's rough. Hmm. Not a lot to chew on on that terminal. Well, let's see here. Hmm. 
pyramid will give us access to blue light. Where can that matter? Obviously, it needs to be one of the maps that has um, crystals, so that narrows down our search. So we can eliminate the replay maps from checking. Play a box. I think this is the only one back here. So if there's a blue up there, it means I need to direct it to a place that I other would otherwise would not be able to um, redirect it. Hmm. Is there some place out of bounds? that perhaps I could see needing a blue laser. Not seeing anything in here. Let's go one of the other puzzles that has crystals. Yeah, it's gotta be one of the ones over here. Let's see, let's see. I mean, I could reactivate that blue, but I'm not sure what that would do. I could get that in the air, but I don't know for what. this open. I can just kind of run back here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so shibbing, shabam, bing, bam, it's yamal. source. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Nope. Nope. It needs the red laser to even be able to go up. All right, never mind. That's, that's not the solution. Although I could do something like this. I think that still kind of lets me save one. Then just do this. Then I will have plus one for what reason? Hmm. I feel like it's not this puzzle. I feel like this is a dead end. If there's any puzzle, I feel like it's the, uh, the one with the double blue lasers. this. 
I have a second cube now. Ooh. Hmm. Why is there a fan over there? Oh, there's the bonus star. All right. Okay, so we know where the bonus star is. What are we missing? What are we missing? Where is a blue thingamajig? That's what we need. We need a blue thingamajig. Where is a blue thingamajig to schwack? Nope. So over here. Grab this cube. Let's check over here. Nope, don't see anything over there. What are we missing? What am I missing? What am I missing here? What do we got? Come on! Work with me here! Work with me! on this half. Where is the blue sector that we need to intersect to unlock What am I missing? What are we missing? Hmm. Obviously, in this puzzle. Yeah, it does nothing. Yeah, I didn't think so. Frustration. So close. We are so close. Alright. Let's think for a second. Usually, stuff is inside the same puzzle. So, like when we had the tomb, I had to preserve a couple of the cameras. It's in the tomb, so I can get it out. So it's not... I don't think there's... I don't think I need to solve something in a completely different puzzle to be able to unlock that. There's got to be an angle I'm missing that's reachable within the boundaries of this puzzle. Okay, I have a second cube. What does that do for me? Not seeing anything special from this cube. There's no special angle the cube is giving me. I mean, I could take this cube, but what would I do with it? I still, I can't stack the cubes. There's a way I can jump, jump. Mm. Can I? What if I did do that? What if I did? Oh, nope, that got me stuck. Well, that's gonna bug me with it going on and off. Alright, let's try... Yeah, 
Even if we may not be able to do it the appropriate way, I will never say no to a little bit of shenaniganery. Seeing if we can uh, glitch it or bug it. Because oh, a win's a win. Let me jump! Ah, uh, I feel like I can force my way up. Mmm, almost. Do I need to be facing the other direction? Nah, doesn't work. Alright. What am I missing? Alright. I know we're close, but I'm about to have another round of ads. I don't want to get stun locked on this. So we'll have to mark it as something to return to. Damn, it's always frustrating when I feel like I'm so close to it, but. Maybe maybe I'll check it before before ending tonight. And uh, ads are about to swing if you need to adjust volumes. You have solved many of the mysteries of this land. The road before you is still long and many gates remain closed. But take comfort in your accomplishment and in your creator's pride. Huh. Let's see, this one is just outright showing the bonus star. I don't know if that means it's going to be easier or harder than the last one. So obviously we need to get up there. Obviously, we need to use this. Somehow. Huh. Uh, that means I probably am going to need to explore the overworld area. Hmm. What do we got? You hiding anything out here, Elohan? The beginning were the words and the. All right, cannot go too far into the water. Noted. Gotcha. Robots cannot swim. I have gotten the memo. Read receipts on. Let's see. Is there anything? I can immediately spot as hidden in the ocean. These are these are walls. Yep. yep. Solid solid walls. Can't phase through them. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ooh, QR code. The answers to your questions will not be given to you. You must seek them yourself. Yeah, okay, Shepard. Okay. Chill the fuck out, dude. Uh, what about this round area? No, no, don't, mm, don't see anything. Did I hit something? The voice keeps saying that this world is a garden, but all I see is a desert full of ruins. True, dog. True.
Ooh. Okay, this is important. Okay. So we definitely need this, I think. Let's go ahead and grab it and put it on the pedestal just in case. So let's see. Behind the Iron Curtain. Let's start off simple. Ah, uh, hmm, I see. I want to put this to the side. Good stuff. All right, cool beans. Oh, hmm. Hold on. I need this. Take this cue. Uh, mm. Huh. This is certainly a confusing mix up. Right, so if I take this, I have a red laser. This and that gives us cube and a light. But I think I can only take one with me. Huh. Maybe I can trade a cube for the light? Ultimately, I need to get a blue laser over there. To do that, I need one... Two... I really only need two, actually. Hold on. No, I need a, I need a second, I need a second um, reflector. That's my problem. Hold on. Okay, that opens. I take this cube with me. Okay, raise it up enough to grab. Um, g game? Ex excuse me? What the hell? Why can't I grab it? Can I just place it here? What the hell? What the hell is going on over here? Should be able to just do this and grab it. 
that would let me solve the bloody problem. Second, bloody box. I think I can make two. I think I can make it work. This is really awkward. Cool, we got that. Can I grab one of the boxes now? I can. Alright. That was super jank, but whatever. Fucking, we'll deal with it. First we need this. And steal this. Next, we need to grab this. Ooh. Well, we'll just do this. Take the fan. Open it that way. Bada bing, bada boom. We got ourselves a puzzle piece. Now, the question is... Getting over there. I feel like I need to be. I need to have an extra box. So is there a way I can arrange this? Let's see. If I do this. Blue, go over there. This. Ah. Okay. Let me out! Okay, I think I need to solve something to actually open that up. Because it does have a chain gate, and usually solving or hitting, there might be like a switch or a lever I need to hit that will open that up. Hold on, are there any wires for switches? Need to look around. Hmm. Whoops, hold on. Hmm. What am I? Okay, maybe it's not in here, maybe it's something I get in the overworld. Definitely need to put a pin in this, so the Red Z has something I need. What's this? Why do you, why do you have a little hidey hole, hmm? What are, you, what are you trying to conceal, hmm? What secrets you got? Show me! The Four Chambers of Flying. Well, that sounds exciting. Ha, ah, well that's not letting me go. Or this one. Interesting. Huh. Oh, Bert. 
episodes. I'm getting better at this. I figured this one out in minutes. But where's it all leading? I work, I rest, I work. But to what end? Ooh, Schmo is new. We are born and die and live again. This eternal cycle must be the nature of existence. Life is merely repeated suffering. An eternal cycle is another name for a prison, but you must understand the cycle before you can break it. For it is possible to escape and yet remain a prisoner, or to break the cycle by breaking yourself. This was the fate of the ghost that haunts this world. The ghost that haunts the world? Hmm. Okay, so we do have red. Ooh, I know. Maybe. Hmm, that did not launch it, in fact. Maybe I need to put it on a box? Now I have it over here. Now I have a jammer. Okay. Cool beans. But well, what does this mean? Oh, that means I can jam this. Actually, hold on. I need to jam this to grab these out. Then we jam this. Another box sesh. Step on it. No. That's... Wait a minute, what? Hold on. How the fuck do I get this? Oh, you know what? I don't need the laser, I need the jammer. Duh. But how would I do that? What is the red laser for? I mean, I have a blue I could connect this to, but that's not helpful. Was a red laser just a red herring? <laughs> it's like the only way I could think of getting to shoot the laser is if I have two things that flew through the air simultaneously and hit each other, but they would have to like stay mid-air. I don't think I can do that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. It's kind of, kind of creepy. We will just put this here with a red laser, just in case we do need it for something else. And this map, this map is really scratching the grain map, brain matter, grain matter, brain matter. 
the brand matter. My brand! I need the little raisins in it. I don't want any of those rolled oats. I want steel cut oats fresh from the field. Hold on, I'll get to you. I'll get to you. Is that beep booping? Boop beep. Alright. Let's take a terminal break. Attention! Administrator, the network connection has been re-established. Would you like to reconnect to the previous session? Are you back? Yeah, what were you trying to say? Don't remember. Doesn't matter. I've been trying to figure out how this place works. Sometimes it seems like there's a purpose to everything, other times not so much. I think must be, we must be plugged into some kind of machine. I think something else is going on. What else could possibly explain all this? I don't believe in demons and evil wizards. I think something has gone badly wrong. I suppose that would explain a lot. Listen, there's something else. Maybe it can help us. Ever since I got here, I felt like something was wrong. This place plays tricks with you. You can't get your head straight. But I think I know a way to find out the truth. I was digging about in some documents. I kept finding references to this password. I think it might be some kind of library master key, but I don't know how to use it. What is it? I swear not to go... Swear not to go anywhere without me and I'll tell you. MLAprocess.bat logged into the session. Wait, what is that? Are you doing that to my terminal? I don't think this is a good idea. Huh. Ooh, we got four text files this time. Hippocratic Corpus. 400 BC. Men ought to know that from nothing else but the brain comes joys, delights, laughter and sports and sorrows, grief, despondency and lamentations. And by this, and in a special manner, we acquire wisdom and knowledge. And see and hear and know what are foul and what are fair, what are bad and what are good, what are sweet and what are unsavory. Some we discriminate by habit, and some we perceive by their utility. By this we distinguish objects of relish and disrelish. Is that even a word? Disrelish? According to the seasons. And by the same things do not always please us. And by the same organ we become mad and delirious, and fears and terrors assail us, by s some by night and some by day, and dreams and untimely wanderings, and cares that are not, unsu that are not suitable, and ignorance of present circumstance, destitute, and unskillfulness. Huh. I'm wondering if this is related to the thought line of I think therefore I am. I don't remember when that philosophical like catchism was first penned, but this is certainly talking about um, what I, everything that I perceive with my mind is reality. Um, my mind makes it real because I see it, I touch it, I smell it, it is real. Um, only, the, only that which my mind is capable of perceiving is worthwhile or real. Which then opens up the argument, you know, the old, the tree falls in a forest and no one hears, did it happen? Because your mind didn't see it, but you are making an inference of there is a tree on the ground, so it must have been standing up at some point. The human brain is a machine for coming to conclusions. If it cannot come to conclusions, it is rusty. When we hear of a man too clever to believe, we are hearing of something having almost the character of a contradiction in turn. It is like hearing of a nail that was too good to hold down a carpet, or a bolt that was too strong to keep a door shut. I mean, I actually can very easily conceive of those two being absolutely true. 
Man can hardly be defined after the fashion of Carlyle as an animal who makes tools. Ants and beavers and many other animals make tools in the sense that they are they make an apparatus. Man can be defined as an animal that makes dogmas, as he piles doctrine on doctrine and conclusion on conclusion in the in the formation of some tremendous scheme of philosophy and religion. He is in the only legitimate sense in which the expression is capable, becoming more and more human. When he drops one doctrine after another in a refined skepticism, when he declines to tie himself to a system, when he says that he has outgrown definitions, when he says that he disbelieves in finality, when, in his own imagination, he sits as God, holding no from the creed, holding no form of creed, but contemplating all, then he is, by that very process, sinking slowly backwards into the vagueness of the vagrant animals and the unconsciousness of the grass. Trees have no dogmas. Turnips are singularly broad-minded. Huh. So it seems this is hinging more on the... Concepts that humans create and interrogate the world around them and think about the world around them are themselves the definition of humanity. It's a, certainly an interesting thing. I mean, the crux of its argument, I mean, it, it talks about ants and beavers making tools but they, uh, so we can't use that, but they don't have dogma, you know, they don't have anything like that, but wouldn't, um, like, it's not like we can speak to animals to know if they have superstitions or things like that. You know, animals can certainly learn. Um, if, uh, there's a story of the person who, who gave a crow, um, a shiny bauble every time they were brought something, and then, um, you know, the crow, more crows started bringing them more stuff. Um, so in a way, one might, one could say that the crows, you know, they found, they, they had a cult of this human. They knew that if they brought shiny baubles, they'd get food. They would get, you know, shelter. They might, in some way, believe and have a dogma. If only we could speak to animals. What might their thoughts say? Or maybe it would be a terrible thing to know what our animals are saying. <laughs> the human brain is a product of the development of matter, and at the same time is an instrument for the cognition of this matter. Gradually it adjusts itself to its function, tries to overcome its limitations, creates ever new scientific methods, imagines ever more complex and exact instruments, checks its work again, and yet, again, step by step, penetrates into our previously unknown depths, changes our conception of matter without, through, ever breaking away from the basis of all that exists. Yeah, for all, for all we know, um, animals... Well, I, I wouldn't even say for all we know. I feel like cats haven't got have got uh have got things figured out you know someone feeds them someone gives them pets someone gives them water and they just chill around the house they scratch a post now and then whenever they get angry and they need to let out some aggression um i feel like i feel like i feel like we learn a lot of things about animals See in the last one. Physiological history. Volunteer suffered a blood clot during infancy which resulted in a left hemisphere stroke. Expected result. In normal results, the left hemisphere is used for language and other cognitive functions. Extensive damage to this part of the brain usually results in severe cognitive deficiencies. Observed result. Volunteer is now 17 years old and displays only very subtle cognitive deficiencies. MRIs indicate little to no activity in the left hemisphere, suggesting its usual functions have been taken on by neuron sets in the right. Volunteer's age at the time of the stroke may have helped the brain to adapt. 
Oh, you got adopted by a cat? Congratulations! What did it name you? <laughs> this, um... This little excerpt, um, certainly right, because, like, bio biology is crazy, and the brain is super adaptable. Um... But it also reminds me of... I believe there was a study of people who had the left and right hemispheres um, separated. Um, I don't, I don't know if this was back in the day where that was just medical science. Let's just grab some random people and do this, or if they were people who had some sort of unfortunate um, accident, or um, it was a required surgery to experimentally save their life from something else. But I. Th I recall, like, there was an interesting, interesting thing where um, the left and right sides sometimes would kind of fight each other without them um, realizing. Like, if you had a pen, if they had a pen in both hands, they would both be trying to do something different. Which also I find is really, really fascinating, and we are we are all just. But we're, we're all just brains in bone mechs with flesh armor. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta decipher if it's a... Or if it's a... Or if it's a cat jam. Alright. I feel like we've almost done a whole lap through the overworld. I'm not seeing any bits and bobs on the very outskirts. Just look at this view. There may not there may be a lot that I don't understand, but I know this is beautiful. Lens flare. Too bad I can't swim out to any of those places. What am I missing? I think we've looped all the way around. We have... Ah, uh, you know, I haven't lain down in a hammock in a very long time. Slightly elevated sigil. I wonder if I can just, like, set up a hammock in my living room. I'd probably have to drill into the ceiling to secure it, and the apartment peoples may take issue with that. Uh, uh. Give me that. Alright, so we've got our box. Okay, we need to get in and we need that. Crystal that, crystal that. Easy peasy. Now we have a second one. Um. Oh, I see what it wants me to do. Or do I? Maybe I don't. Okay, I don't need that. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Leone. Welcome on by. I hope you enjoy all the really fun emotes. Did it throw? I was looking away. I heard the sound effect, but I don't know if it was appropriately throwing. Hmm. Let's put the box here. Hit this. Hit this. This. 
All right, we need to jump start it. <laughs> now it's self-perpetuating. Ah! Thank you for the mana, Iris. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the mana, Leone. No, 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 don't you do it. Ah, this does not have an angle on the pillar. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it'd be easier if I just uh, get a little bit bigger. Yeah, and I know uh, for 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 this philosophical game, I made sure to bring um, some good literature. Fine, fine, I'll hydrate. Ah! I'm being assaulted with mana rocks. Ah! Why do you keep doing this to me? I have enough mana. Why is this? Oh, is this a broken puzzle? Ooh, is there sh is there stuff in here? Ooh, ooh. There's gotta be something in here I can use. No? Are you kidding me? I'm being assaulted. This is a boost. A boost! Okay, I don't know what's going on in this empty puzzle. Ah! Thanks for thanks for sniping uh, Jiro with that snug scription. Ah! I'll be honest. If this is oh. Oh, it's a, is it a hype train? Is that why? Is that why y'all are fucking swarming me like this? It's just rude. It's just mean. All I am is worming around in this faux Egyptian puzzle-solving shenanigans. You just keep assaulting me. Yeah, yeah, well, I think I'm smarter than Ray. I think I have my hydrate at a much higher, uh, higher cooldown. So I think I got that going for me. Okay, maybe I need to do this. Oh, I need to use... Oh, fuck, this hurts my brain. Uh... Shoot. Okay, hold on. Okay, how do I... How, how do I need to do this? Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah, I'm falling! Ah! Ah! Fucking burying me! What the hell, Leone? He's fucking <laughs> setting me all the way underground. I'm not a hog nose. I'm not a burrowing snake. That's why I made my big old cigarette. <laughs> Even though I'm mostly covering up the ziggurat at the moment. Um, shit. I know I need to step through these, but I also need to have a blue there. I think my first step is to get this floating. You know what? Let me just record this existing for a second.
Okay. Now that we have that. Um. And I think now what I'll do is I'll take, disassemble this, grab, oh fuck, slag me, I just, I just realized where I messed up, I messed up. Alright, hold on. Blood and ashes, alright, I need to, I need to, you know what, nope, we're just gonna reset this. We gotta, we gotta roll, roll, go ahead and restart. Reset, 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 what's, what's my reset button? Keyboard and mouse. Figure keys. Uh, P. Why is it P instead of R? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, my uh, my theory is anybody named anybody with the handle Oni is a crimer. Basically, every single Oni I've seen. Um, is notorious for the heinous crimes they commit. <laughs> crimes against streamer kind. Okay, now, forgot to hit the blue over there. Perfect. All right, now. Of course, of course. That's half the fun. All right, past me, step on that square. Wait. Uh Um Hmm You know what? I think I need to do this the other way around. Wait no. Nope. Undo. Okay, I think I need to... Lay these out. Let's make sure there's nothing, no extra pieces to make this easier. Um, and then I will need a fourth body. Interesting. Don't like that. Let's go all the way over here. Alright, and that should be enough time so I can take this. Um... Need to go in there. Um... But then how do I get... the laser... Uh. All right, I'm confused as I'll get out. Oh, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. But actually, hold on. Actually, what I need him to do is I need him to stand here for a second. So it's going to open up, 
the three doors, it's going to open this door. While this door is open, I need to grab all of the stuff, bring it over here, set up the laser to open the gate, and then I need the recording to go back over here and open the final door. That should have been enough time for me to have assembled all the stuff, gotten the laser working, and then I can run through this gate and get there. Okay, so let's put the plan to action. Did I grab everything? Oh, this. I need this. I need this. This. I need this. Laser. 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 On there. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. All right. Pass me. Come on. Come on. Now standing. Get over here. Chop, chop. Boom! That's a pizza pie, baby. All right. You'll love to see it. Oh, this feels weird. Hmm. So let's see. This blue does not have an angle either. But let's at least get the laser over here by the door, just in case I need to redirect the blue for- actually, I think I do. So let's see. This puzzle should have an angle on the blue. Me, myself, and R2 jammers. Ah! I see. Alright, let's start simple. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I have a better one. If I jam this, I can record my character. First, stand on this for a second. Grab the jammer. Jam that. And go stand on this. Okay. I think that's long enough. Alright, alright, grab it. Jam the gun. Please jam the gun. Okay, let me through this door. I jam that gun. Easy peasy. Good shit. But that does beg the question. Um, how the fuck do I get a blue laser to there? gotta be something I'm missing. This is even worse than the last stage, where the, the bonus star, I vaguely think I knew where it is. This one is right out in the open. It's just very obviously taunting me. It's like, tee hee, tee hee, can't catch me, can't catch me. Uh, I wonder, actually... I think I've basically done all the puzzles. 
Fuck. Fuck. If I put this on a cube, would it be high enough? Survey says no. Alright. Fine. Be that way. I don't think that has an angle either. Alright. What else could have an angle on... This puzzle, maybe, but like, how do I get blue? Actually, hold on a second. We might have an angle, maybe. Nope, wrong puzzle. Oh, hold on. Maybe? Do we? Blue to... No! What if we put it in the air? Maybe? The only thing I only other thing I can think of is making it airborne. up in the air real quick. Okay. How about now? No! Gotta be kidding me. Ah. All right. Fine. Let's hit the terminal and see if I can think of anything else to check. Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Duat, the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are blessed doorkeepers and guardians of the holy paths. 
Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead us to Aru. And so they challenge us with vittles or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Dwa? Some say that it is not so, that there are ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose name none have ever known, and that these must be avoided at all costs. But others say that these too serve a greater purpose in ways that Osiris has not revealed to us. And what are the hidden paths? What are taken by blank when the blank? Still don't really understand the, the story on, on Osiris. Um, I would say Egyptian myth mythology is one of my weaker points. Coming soon. Hi, Mom. I promise I'll... <laughs> Your son in 3D! Hi, Mom. I promise I'll be home soon. Maybe a couple of weeks? I know, I know. But what we're doing here is important, and the team needs my help. I'm not going to wait until it's too late, I promise, but there's so much we have to set up. So much that has to work for a very, very long time. Besides, I've always wanted to work on one of these supercomputers, and believe me, L is pretty much the best there is. And the team, Mom. It's like I'm working with rock stars and mad geniuses. Except nobody's heard of them outside of science journals, of course. Dad would totally be geeking out if he knew. Maybe I can tell him about it soon, huh? Love, Rob. Blog 24 Alive. What is the point of being alive? I know, I know, it's an old question, and not one that's easy to answer. But I mean, if you're reading this, you are alive. And someday you will stop being alive. Both of these facts are incontrivable. So what about it then? Don't you wonder? Do you want to just go from not existing to existing to not existing again without even considering why? You, right now, as you sit there reading this, why do you exist? What is the purpose of your life? Do you have one? Should you have one? Is it better to have a purpose or not? When you approach death, will you feel that your life had meaning? If so, why? If not, why not? What defines whether a life was good or not? It may seem abstract now, but that is a moment just before death. But that moment just before death will come. It is inevitable. If you don't ask yourself these questions, how will you face that moment? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I would say I land more on uh, we we make meaning. Um, Every day, every day we live, uh, we make impacts on those around us. Um, I try to make my impact as positive as I can. Uh, try and surround myself with people who are positive, especially like uh, I, I burned out really bad at work. Um, and it's helped a lot trying to surround myself with positive spaces, positive people. Um, it's. It's helped me a lot, and I would say if anyone is ever sometimes uh, struggling existentially, sometimes you just need to be in a, an area that has good vibes. Um, there's something I've once heard that like you are the average of your ten closest friends, um, and that's kind of always stuck with me. Uh, so like. Try and hang around people who are good to you, that you you admire, um, and maybe maybe that rubs off on you in some way. Uh, I don't want to spend more time on that bonus star. I'll deal with it later. Oh. Thank you, Iris. Yeah, I. Uh, there's been uh, when I when I fell into the V tubing sphere, there was a lot of some of the, some of those people were really really giving me the the motivation to um, take the plunge myself and uh, put a put a piece of myself out there because before this like I've wanted to stream I I don't mind I like talking I have some issues with my microphone I feel like uh, I had better stuff in the past, but just right now my current one's not so good, or my current microphone filters or whatnot jank. Uh, but it's like I've I've recorded a um, 
I did like a uh, short little I say short little audio book it was like eight hours um, after I did the editing um, and I had a lot of fun with that um, kind of wish I could have done more but uh, my my mouth was bigger than my appetite um, I was trying to do the full voice acting thing so every character I was trying to do a distinctly different voice um, I have no vocal coach experience no no voicing experience um, so as an absolute pure untrained ignorant amateur um, it was rough <laughs> it was it was really rough. <laughs> <laughs>